Hey guys, welcome back to another video. What is this red dot here? Um, well, yeah, we're back in the Roblox Studio Beginner Scripting Series. This is episode 5, Nested Loops. So, uh, if we make an if statement, okay, if we just make an if statement, uh, well, um, can we put another if statement inside this if statement? Simple answer, yes. You can do as many as you want. You can do as many as you want. There is no limit. Absolutely no limit. Um, as you can see, you can keep going. And there won't be any limit to what we can do. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you some examples. Um, because uh, nested loops is just a loop inside a loop. So first we're going to do a calculator program. I think this is my only example that we have. So we'll do local calc info. And let's make a table. And do calc info dot input one equals three. Calc info dot input two equals two. Calc info dot uh, operator operator equals. Let's make this. It has to be a string. Let's do plus for now. So now, um, we need to program the calculator, so we'll do if, if calc info dot input one equals to nil, then, so now we'll do print input one is not, is not specified. Now, else if, else if, uh, input, um, I forgot, calc info dot, input two, oh, we accidentally put input one there, input two, uh, equals, um, equals to nil. Then print input to is not uh, specified. Uh, now finally, I'll sift calc info dot operator um, equals to nil. Then, then, uh, print operator is not specified. Okay, so, now else. So, what this will do is, if, if none, if, uh, if input 1, input 2, and the operator are all, Specified everything in this else, else right here will uh will run. If operate if calc info the operator equals to plus, then print uh input calc info dot input one plus calc info dot input two. Okay. So then we'll do else if else if calc info dot operator equals uh to minus and you can just repeat this for every single uh operation plus Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So I'm just going to do all of that.
Okay, so our calculator is all done. Um, so let's run it. As you can see, it prints out 5, and input 1 is equal to 3, input 2 is equal to 2, and the operator is equal to plus. So what it will do is it'll add 3 plus 2, and you get 5. So our calculator is correct. Now, if we set this to minus, as you can see, we get 1 because 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. If we do star for multiplication, it should give us 6. And, yep, this is correct. Set to slash, this is division. Should give us 1 point, yep, 1.5. So that is a working calculator. You can um you can connect it to like a a screen GUI um with a text box. Um yeah, you can you can do something like that and um make these like actually like customizable, I guess uh that's the word. Well, anyways, uh thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.